Habits either support your goals or detract from your goals. Duh. Here are a few ways to decrease the latter. The first, it may sound a little corny, but visualize your future self. I'm not kidding. If I like snap my fingers right now and you suddenly were in your future, this ideal person, body, place that you had, if you had achieved your goals, what would that person, that future self be doing? Remember that. The next step is do a habit audit. Think through your typical day. Do this for the you know weekday and a weekend day because they can be different, right? What behaviors are working for you and what behaviors are not working for you? Which ones align and don't align with that future self? Write those down. Now, there's two approaches to changing the ones that are not working for you that you've identified. The first is to just simply focus on the behaviors that are working, that your future self would be doing, and try to find ways to do more of those. The idea being that as you do that, it will decrease room in your schedule and in your life for those kind of negative habits, as we'll call them. The other is to change your environment so that it makes it just that much harder to do the quote bad habits and that much easier to do the quote good habits. For example, parking farther away from the grocery store or any store, any metro, bus, whatever, and it will make you walk just a little bit farther, get a few more steps in. The other would be, I mean, you've heard these before probably, putting the quote junk food at the top and back of the pantry so that you have to really reach for them, like pull out a step ladder kind of thing. Um, Another one might be setting your living room lights to a timer so that it kind of triggers you, nudges you to go to bed at the time that you really want to. This is called shaping the path. It's changing your environment. Now, will any of this be easy? Of course not. You're going to have to do a little bit of work, of course, to develop that consistency. But when you catch yourself kind of slipping away, again, catch yourself, forgive yourself, move forward. It will become easier over time. You just develop that consistency. And when you feel like you don't want to, when you feel like it's just too hard, Ask yourself and answer honestly, how much have my current habits already cost me? And how much will they cost me in the future if I don't change them?